We are back. R.I.P. to this queen. Oh, my goodness. The queen. Like, uh, Ebony did. Gone too soon. Like. And this is uh, the song in the background. This is a fierce a pick of the morning. Did you have a, a personal relationship yeah, with Ebony? Yeah, Ebony and I were, yes. Like, I see. Like, like. I still remember the day they called me. It was like 4 a.m. I was working at Crossy TV. One of the, uh, I think the HR manager called me. I said, if yeah. I'm like, what happened? Why are you calling me at this time? Turn on the news. I'm like, what happened? And then when he told me, hey, I'm getting goosebumps. My goodness. I shouted. Like, oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It whoa. was... Mm-mm. Ebony gone too soon, too mm. talented, like pure, like she was pure, like her heart was so bi- Oh, God. They don't make them like that anymore. No, they don't. But if you've only just joined us, this is 3 Lounge on 3FM 92.7. If your odd door is in the studio with me, and we're still chopping it up. Speaking of chopping. How is entrepreneurship treating <laughs> you? You have uh, a new endeavor, which is a food spot. What's yes, it called again? Eats Avenue. Eats Avenue. Yes, what do you yes. guys uh, have over at Eats Avenue? Oh, everything from Ampissier to TZ to Come Benku on. and Okro to fried rice to yam chips to fufu at all. Like, this we. Is, I'll be like assaulted. As, <laughs> Let me go. Assaulted. assaulted. <laughs> and yeah, assaulted. It was assaulted. Assaulted. Yes. Oh, wow. A wide variety. A wide variety of food. I've never eaten a TZ before. Really? Yeah. Oh. As, as a, it's cousins with Banku. It is cousins with Banku. So, it is. But it's, it's, the taste is slightly different. It's a bit, it's quite light, isn't it? Uh-huh. All it's I know light. is that like you have to chase it around yeah. the bowl because, you know, all of the extra slime to, uh, the food I have to work for, you know. Do you have I to work? that hard oh what's that i don't so, like that but if i come to eat heaven you'll get correct you get correct you guys will initiate me well sister ah palm wine or chai oh yes our palm wine is one of the best you don't Fresh. have to tell me more than once <laughs> So, entrepreneurship, it's going okay or? It's going amazing. I'm, yeah. I learned so much about myself, you know, mm. being a boss, you know, it's, there's, anybody call themselves a boss chick, boss chick, but really being a boss and having people work for you and being in control and having to direct them it's not easy but i enjoy it you mm. know i always believe that you have to enjoy what you do or else you stop mm. when it comes to like owning a restaurant and, and working with people when it comes to like in that sector like it's not easy you because you don't want anything to happen to your customers and everything that and everything takes place in the back mm. from the chefs to the to the to the to the stock keeper to the waitresses some of these people they claim they've been waitresses for five years sister but that's not the case hey oh i literally have to retrain them and reprogram their mind and show them what it means because customer service in this country is really poor mm. like really have bad customer service we one time a customer came and i think they got the order wrong the waitress was telling them that, oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, you don't say sorry. You apologize, and then you correct the order. She wanted to charge the person for the wrong food. Mm. I said, you don't do that, because mm. then she won't come back again. That's right. I don't want to lose my customers. So it's a lot of, like, reprogramming um, of the mind when it comes to the workers. A lot of these, a lot of the youth claim that there is no jobs in the country, but I've noticed that when you do give them a job, they don't want to do the job, but they want their salary every month, and it's, mm. and it's quite unfortunate, you know, but um, being a boss and this entrepreneurship, I, I really love it. Like, I enjoy what I do. Yeah, even though it's crazy hard work. It's crazy hard work. And I'm, I'm, I'm there every day. Every single day? Oh, I'm there from morning to evening. Okay. From opening to closing. Mm. Like, I, you have to be there. You have to be there because it's something... There's my baby, and I have to make sure that it's taken care of. I have to make sure that everything is going well. I have to make sure that the food, the food, is, the food is good. The taste is good. I taste most of the food before it goes out to be dished. Um... I'm a very detailed person, mm. so and I, and I take it into everything that I do. So yeah, I, I enjoy what I do. I love what That's I do. That's amazing. Yeah. But what about the current state of the economy? How does that affect business? Um, because we know food is quite pricey these yes. days. Things keep rising. As a business owner, how do you forecast it, when it, every time things are changing? And it's 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 like my storekeeper will go to the markets today you buy pepper uh one container is probably like let's say 50 cities tomorrow you go is 120 cities so now i think what what, what we do is just portion control okay. um we don't in- you are putting us on by false diet 
Debut. Okay. okay. Fashion. Okay. Post in the studio. Because no, on a normal... <laughs> <laughs> my first act. <laughs> on a normal like our portions are a lot like okay, like okay. people can't even finish the food okay so okay. now we're just trying to like maybe we're still we're just controlling it so that it's not yeah. wasteful it's not wasteful mm. and then also we i don't believe in increasing prices now because i just opened okay, you know okay. so i'm 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 controlling certain things when it comes to just like the amount we give it's still it's still a great amount but it's just not as much because chale even the markets, uh, they are selling the pepper to you. Yes, you have to buy it in addition, especially those who like a lot of pepper. And then you have to pay. Awamu, me and my awamu is very delicious. You have to try it. It's very nice. And um, now the customers are complaining that we don't give enough pepper. But I'm like, I'm giving you plenty of pepper. The pepper is expensive. Like, everything's expensive, but they don't mm. care. They don't want to hear that. It's not, yeah. their, it's not informal. Mm. So, um, yeah, we're trying. We're trying the best that we can do sometimes. So now also bef- before, like, my stock guy will go to the markets maybe three times or four times a week. Now he goes twice a week, market days, Wednesdays mm. and Saturdays, just to control, like, you know, even the expense of going and coming all the time. Of course. Yeah. That's important. Now, on the on the issue of the restaurant, that also then became a topic in of itself. But you call it your baby. So this is you. This is Well, I you. co-own it. Co-own. Yes, I co-own it. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I do okay. have a business partner. Okay. Yeah. And that's pretty much what it is. You co-own the business. Yes, I co-own the business. Okay. We both okay. have our shares in it. I see. Yeah. And that's why you're there every day. You can't afford to, to no. let it fail. If I was a manager, you think I would care to be there every day? About, but you know, even with me, whatever job manager. I take. <laughs> See, I didn't have to say anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't have to like say Like, if, if I was just the face of it, do you think I would be there every day? No, yeah. I would just be promoting on my social media. It's not. But, like, it's something that... It's, if there's investment in it. So mm. obviously, like, I have to be there to make sure things go well. Mm. I remember when I traveled to New York, oh, my God, I'll be looking in the camera, zooming into the food, zooming into the... Th- making sure that the, 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 the toppings are correct. Mm. Even I'm, while she were while away. While I was away, yes. Trying to be as hands-on as I possible. I have to be calling every time. How many orders did we get today? Were there any problems? I even put my one of my numbers there for people to call in to complain. Okay. If there's any, yes, call I for complaint. Yeah. Very, very hands-on indeed. Now, when it comes to to entrepreneurship, a lot of people see the glitz and the glam. And like you've already explained, it's a lot of work, staff turnover, training, you know, being away from the business and, uh, you know, worrying about what's going on back home. What would you say has been the biggest lesson point for you being in charge of it? I know you say you've learned a lot about yourself, but in practical terms, because there's people, or there might be some people who are budding business, uh, uh, shall I say entrepreneurs if you will who want to learn a thing or two give them some practical advice you know hands-on advice what to do okay me I always say that uh, follow your passion because when you have passion for something you're you're unlikely to give up on it um, and also when you do have staff remember that they're not you're not friends they're not your friends um, and also they're not your enemies okay there should be there should be some kind of relation between your your workers and yourself. You know, you're the you you are their boss, but you don't have to always. Uh, what's what's the word? Treat people with respect. Okay. Honestly, mm. I've noticed a lot of people. Um, even when I go places, I see like how they treat their staff. Um, they're not pol- they're not polite. Be as polite as you can, but also demand the respect that you deserve. Um, in 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 the field that you see yourself in. And um, I think just just f- f- n- know what your goal is. Okay. What you're going into, know what your goal is, mm. and work towards that goal. Mm. And that's just really, really what it is. But I always treat your workers with respect because they are the ones working for you. That's right. You know, you know if they're going to be good at what they do, it comes from how they're treated. Mm. You know, and, I, and I've noticed with where we are, it's like, I wouldn't say Ghana, but because in America, it doesn't matter if your boss screams at you, you're going to do your job. Mm. You're going to get paid. But here, it's like you have to sometimes kind of baby them, but but not too much. I don't know. It's just... It's, it's not an easy task. That The people management, you say, is the biggest thing that it you is. have to work on. It is. It, thank you. It's the people management is the biggest thing. Mm. How you relate to your workers, how you treat them, how you communicate with them. Like, I, sometimes I see myself shouting, and then I do go back and I apologize. Mm. Because then they, they're human beings. But I let them know, listen, I'm not your mom. You're not my child. Don't make me shout at you. Don't make me come out of my comfort as to who I am because you're not doing the correct job. So I think it's more of like how you speak to your workers is really important. How you treat them is really important. Because they're 
the ones who are controlling everything if you if when you're not there. That's right. We'll get on to a few more of your messages and do keep them coming if you're watching us on the stream. Hello. And this one is from James Latte. He says, tell Ifya to dog all the Accra guys and come to Koforidia. Hey. I'm there for her. Okay, well. We have money. She's not coming without any, you know. <laughs> Yevu Maoli says, please tell her that I'm in love with her, but I don't have a job. Oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. And in team Christina, Christiana, Christiana, hi, good morning. She says, if ya is exactly who she thinks she is, period, period. period. a woman of gold. Do keep your messages coming through. I'll also plug our WhatsApp line so that you two can send your messages through. We're happy to read them. 053-230-0927. That's 053-230-0927. Send us a message. Okay, so our WhatsApp is open. Um, oh, okay, from Richard. Ah, if yeah, I'll let you read that one out. Okay. Okay, so uh, he says, Hey guys, I seriously don't pay much attention to whatever Afia does, but right now she's got a new follower. She's amazing. Aww. Give it to them. <laughs> I love that. Is that something that happens quite often yeah. where people have maybe prejudged you mm -hmm. right before they've heard you speak or yeah. they've had a chance to, you know, bask in your energy and they're like, ah, <laughs> you're not even that bad. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I feel like it's because of what the media puts out, you know, because of clickbait, certain certain stations or certain um, bloggers post certain things and people have this preconceived notions because of what they've seen. But once they hear me speak and once they actually get to know me, they're like, ah, if you're... You're actually quite cool. You're cool. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, somebody has actually responded um, to Maoli. So, Bright says, you know, you don't get job. You want love. Next ah, joke, please. Like, oh, Charlie, guys. Come true. on, come on. You're focused on the wrong thing. Richard Rich says, if you are a dog, Yankee queen. Oh, period. What do you prefer, New York or a crab? I've only been to NYC mm. once. Mm -hmm. And, hey. I, 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 I've never, I've never seen, I've never seen anything, <laughs> concrete jungle lamp, I've it never is. experienced anything like that Really? In my life. Why? What happened? I mean, on steroids, you know, <laughs> I, they said it was kind of like London, right? Mm -hmm. And London is a very busy city, bustling, the hustle, you know, everyone's trying to make it, yeah. all manner of people there, uh, a fusion of cultures, but NYC was a different beast. And on, I'm like, oh, hey, yo, ma, miss you, ma, hey, yo, ma, yo, shot it, hey, yo, shot it, who? At that time, what was it, 2017? Me broke here, me The trip, no, me calculations. How I can get a train from here to here, near your ma, hey, your ma. What do you prefer, New York or Accra? Oh, God. They both have the advantages, you know. I love New York because, I mean, I love America as a whole because of, like, you know, the shopping that I can do, the weather. Um, please, visiting, please, visiting, please. Visiting. Right now, we have Ghana winter. We too, we have the weather. Well, you don't have the shopping. <laughs> Cancel. We have hey, to shop. You know, go can't. You've been there. Oh yes, I I even did a TikTok when I went to Cannes and everything. What did you buy? Um, I was shooting a video. I got some jeans. I got some boots. Okay. okay, um, okay. I got some this this blazer. Oh, there's a few pieces in oh, Cannes. Oh, so I see other shops in Cannes. Oh, I, oh, I mean, I go to Cannes. Ah, hey. Wow. But I still do my Chanel though. Fifth Avenue. Chanel could cry, can't cry. Cry. Something, something. I am you should see me in the studio if you're not watching us on the stream well i don't know what to tell you amaka what is it what amaka wants to get on the microphone no she doesn't <laughs> Okay, I've got the import of what Amaka wanted to share with me. Oh, see, it's one low. Yeah, she's high. high. <laughs> I'm with you. Listen, yeah, tell me, turn low and I'm a shiny low. It's also none of your business. Right? I'm going through a lot right now. You know what? It's one of the things that I find so bibre about this industry. You always have to, you know, and, and, and a lot of the ladies in the industry do really well. Putting yourself together day in and day out. It's oh. not easy, but it comes easy to you. You're wasting 24 inches. Why will it not come easy to you? 
if you have to work with 30 plus inches waist and you see you 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 see you see how you play the game of course you like getting cute what are your vital statistics if you're a dog um 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 let me get 28 uh, um, no waist is 24 no no hip 35 no why am i off the map so no, 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 no 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 i'm very good i'm listen wait wait i'm very good at guessing height and body okay give us a twirl okay okay can you see me the camera yeah we can see you can okay. we can we align it okay i'm gonna guess if your odor's vital statistics right about now and this used to happen i know that gen zers don't know about it during miss ghana and the different regions would come out and they'll tell and then they would read their vital statistics so they'll say eastern region vital statistics 36 20 65 now your boy in september october don't 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 stress so we'll do if your odor's and you're, you're representing which region I, 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 ashanti region Okay, so we have Ifya Odor from the Ashanti region. Give an applause. Give an applause. Vital t- statistics. 30, 26, 42. No. But I'm close. I'm, I'm close. close. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. close. What are the vital okay, statistics? Okay, so um, 30, thir- I think 30, 31. Uh-huh. No, no, 30. 30. My waist is 27 and my okay. hips is 45. Come on. <laughs> what a statistics, my goodness. Well, me, me, food and me, hip, no more competing. This morning. All right, let's get into some more interesting themes right about now. I know I asked about Accra v. New York. I think you said pros and cons yeah, for both, for both places. Know, yeah. Okay, let's get into some this or that with Ifia or Do. And we're all playing you at home or you listening to us in the car, wherever you are. Uh, get involved in all of the action. Shoot us a message on the social. So, are you ready to get into it? I think I am. All right, we're playing this <laughs> or that. Would you rather a lifetime supply of all your favorite cosmetic products, including makeup, or travel anywhere in the world for free? You travel just... anywhere in the world for free. Oh, yes. Okay, you'd rather hop on a plane without what? thinking about... Hop on a jet. On a jet and a then jet. go. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, that free travel ah, anywhere you know how expensive world, it is for a ticket? That hey. is true. That is true. I've been saving up now for however, 14 months for one ticket. Okay, okay, okay. Would you rather have a million extra followers on social media? I know that translates into some good moolah. Or would you rather have your own TV show? Hmm. On what channel? Um, on what platform? Okay, let's put it in the context of Ghana. So a million extra followers. Extra. <laughs> 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 no, because I was building up to a point. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, let's say you're on the in any media general Mm-mm. platform. Mm-mm, so saying I, you are I'm, making waves, baby. A million extra followers. I million. am the wave, baby. I don't, period. Yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so another. Would you rather or this or that? Would you rather own a private jet for a whole year? Let's call it auto airline. <laughs> Or have unlimited first class tickets for a year. So both are for 12 months. You have your own order airline, your own jets, or unlimited first class flights for a year. I'm guessing with the private jet, you have to uh, obviously Who's paying measure. For the pool? For the, the that's private the jets. I think maybe you, you have can. To pay for the pool. If you have, okay, hey. let, me, let me make it simple. If you have <laughs> to pay for your own uh, fuel, right? Let's say your private jet, you can maybe do four travels a year, but that's your own jet. It goes on your time, it goes wherever you want. Or unlimited, unlimited first class. Unlimited flight. first class. Ah, four times. Sounds six. like you have a lot of travel on your Yo, mind. Yes, I do. Where do you want to go? So many places. I want to go to Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez. I've never been to Greece. I want to go to Greece. Okay, I've never I been. I want to go to um somewhere in Asia, like maybe different places. Bali. Bali, okay, you understand? Okay, and that's what I guess one slim bikini mm-hmm. with the 30, 27, 42. Yes, yeah. Give it to them. Okay, so uh, you would pick the first class of travel. Of course. Okay, would you rather have a million dollars or make any wish of yours come true? Make any wish of mine come true and work for a trillion dollars. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> if you don't, I think that's I think that's cheating. How? It's a wish. No, no, no. Wish your oh. terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. If I couldn't change, terms and conditions. Yeah. We'll give you terms and conditions. Okay. Would you rather go in, back into the past and make things right? Okay. So think about issues that maybe you want to make right. Although you don't have too many regrets, you say. Would you rather go in the past and go and, you know, change things? Or do you want to jump into the future? Do you want to get into the future where you already have what you have, what you've been praying for? What do you want? Future. And what does that future look like? The future for me, mm-hmm. <laughs> I have established myself in the industry. Um, I've been able to build schools and hospitals and rehabilita- rehabilitation centers. Um, um, I have my children. I have my husband. Um, I, I'm just established and I'm happy and, and, and I'm diligently, willingly walking in Christ. How many kids do you have? I want as many as God can give me. Because with hey. money, you can have as many. Against this 20, 30, 20, hey. 7, 42, no? Because that's a BBL lipo. BBL. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you get, would you get your body done? I would, like, if I had kids, I'd probably do lipo. Lipo. Yeah, I wouldn't no, you put wouldn't anything anywhere. No. In anywhere. What do you make of the BBL craze? Whatever makes people happy, but it's very deadly. But whatever makes you happy, honestly. Yeah. Like, if you're doing it for self-esteem or if you're doing it for other reasons, it's your decision. I don't know why people have so much input on what others decide to do on their body. Mm. I mean, I feel like maybe the concerns of health concerns, or if it's not health concerns, then I don't know why there's so much judgment on it. Mm. Whatever makes someone happy, that's just their business. I'm sure people who could, if people, some people could afford it, they would do it. But mm. I think some don't have the money to do it. You think it. that's the reason why? And I think it's 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 worthwhile to re-echo what Ifya Odor said. It is it is a dangerous procedure. Mm. And I don't know whether we really talk about that enough, about how the dangerous, dangerous it. it is. If you have all of the full facts in front of you, you can afford it. I mean, we're all adults. I'm not going to hold anybody's leg. Uh, but for me, it's the danger that would yeah. personally put me off. Yeah. Okay, would you rather eat out um, or order or would you rather cook your own food? I love cooking. Oh, you do? Yes, I love cooking. What's I, your favorite thing to make? My ambassade with uh, abum. Abum, 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 <laughs> abum, abum supremacy. What, do you, what is in the abum? What, do you, what are the interchoves? Momoni womb. Momoni. What do you say? In Katia. In Katia. Hey, yes, abum. That's, that, that's the secret ingredients for abum. Really? In Katia, yes. Uh-huh. That is the, that is the foundation of the album. I'm with you. Momone and Katia, Jane and Meko, and now either you use garden egg or use contumery, and then you have your salmon inside, and then your kobe. Make sure kobe one hold on hold because it's chin or kobe. That's true. Yes, so you have to wash it at least overnight and in the same day. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so the okay. salt can top, leave it. Top tip: you leave it overnight to soak. Get the to soak. salt out. Yes. Ah, cooking with order. Eats Avenue. Sunny you know. Eats Avenue. Our album is the is the number one seller. Our garden egg album one PC is number one. Well, how can I verify? You came here. You came here with no album. Oh, anyway, it's Sunny NBA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on to some more of this and that. And remember, you two can get involved in the conversation. Do you find us on the socials on Twitter? Well, it's now X. Find us on Instagram, also on Facebook. Hashtag it is three lounge. We're kicking it with the ultimate baddie if you or not this morning. Okay, would you rather local market shopping or go to the mall to source your produce? Local markets, I You know, sometimes it's not always that much cheaper in the markets. You know that. Oh, sister. Oh, I'm telling you. It's a, it's not that oh, much cheaper by if cheaper. Not, me, if I'm selling me toy and toast and I see this 30, 31, 27, <laughs> 40, 45 approaching me. Ah, let me make sure that price. Hey, you come back at the machine. Tell me, machine me do cool. Oh, but they recognize you. Some glasses. They recognize you. Every move, but most of the time, no. If I see a few dog, I'm adding onto yeah. the price. I'm adding onto the so price. So you know what I do? Sometimes I let my my assistants go and ask first, and then I'll come after he's after he's finished. Out. No. Yes. Uh, okay. Even when I'm buying things, like when I go outside, I make my assistant go and ask first. When he gets the price, then I go and make payments. Okay. Hey, me my Wise. name. Hey. We need Strategy. a damn pass. Ta- ta- tactics, antics, antics. I'm with it. Okay, would you rather? Well, we already know you are not partial to thrift shopping. Uh, so thrift shop- shopping or buying online? Would you rather go, you know, like you say, to Kant? Or are you okay with the online vendors? See, the online vendors, I asked them to me a 419. Sometimes, has calmed me honestly, in. hey, 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 hey. 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 Mm. <laughs> 
And I know it was just 150 CDs. Mm-hmm. Because that was that's the only time that I've been scammed. And I should have known. Because there are some tips if yeah that you look out for. Instagram has a feature that lets you know how many times the vendor has changed their names. Oh wow. Exactly. Wow. Oh. Then you know they Summer. are frauding you fresh. Exactly. Sometimes as well, they turn off their comments. Mm. So people can comment on this. So if you go on a page and there are no comments, that you're probably yeah. getting scammed. Hey, I almost got scammed. I remember one time some lady told me um to to I was I forgot what I was buying. I think it was some nice dresses, be some stuff like this. Right. And she said, Oh, I should make payment for that. I'm like, no, I've been scammed before. So please send me the location. This lady sent the location. I drove all the way to community 25. Down, down. The, the, the location was non-existent. So she she was hoping that you were going to send the I money. I will later send, yes. And then and I, she, you wouldn't hear from her again. Babes, I literally drove like 45. I was lost. I said, ah, why are you looking? I feel like he doesn't stop responding to my messages. They stopped responding. <sighs> so, so I'd rather like go in person to get my products, to get my stuff. That's why. Sometimes yeah. you have to go and make sure you're not getting scammed. All right. Are you a sneakers girly or do you prefer to wear heels? Oh, gosh. I'm both. I love my sneakers and I love my heels. I like to be a bear bitch in my heels. You feel okay, me? Okay, okay, okay. And then I also love my sneakers. I'm both. I can't choose. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, because you are from a jurisdiction that has different weathers, it's not this all round summer, although we're in Ghana winter. (laughs) Would you prefer a colder climate, winter, autumn, or are you more of a spring, summer girly? Uh, I'm very autumn, winter. Okay, you like to layer up. I like to layer up, but I like to to get fashion. I like to uh, give looks. But in the winter, how do you give us all of that? Hey, you see stuff? the boots, you see the jeans, you see the different jackets, the scarf, the hat. The but gloves. everything is covered up. Yeah, but it's give it's style. Okay. Because in in, in, in in autumn or in in the fall time, it's not too cold. Okay. Or you can still give looks. You can give us a little a little mm, mm, a little mm, mm, I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> Would you rather a male best friend or a female best friend? Male best friend. My best friend is a male, so my male best friend. Men pema senpacho. Can uh, men and women just be friends? Honestly, this question is always asked, and yes. I always say, listen, a male and a female can't be friends, but if given opportunity, a man might not just want to no, be No, 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 let me test the Paul's back end, because this one is an important question. Can men and women be friends? I'm doing a, a poll in studio. You can't see them, but I'll give you the results. Janet, uh, six, a sorry bar for Stina. Can men and women be friends? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I'm testing the pulse. I'm doing my own survey. Okay, so some of you want to be friends with Ifya or no? No, no, please. That's not the question. That's not the question. I'm getting a lot of thumbs down. So that is just my own very quick survey that men and women, if you're a dog, they cannot be friends. Mm-hmm. DJ Wabs, is it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Can men and women be friends? Just friends. Just friends with nothing happening. Mm. Nana, nah, the way he smiled with that thumbs up. <laughs> DJ Wabs, I'm suspecting you. You say men and women can be friends? Yes. Babes, why not? Listen, oh, Charlie. why can't men and women be friends? Listen, why? You, that chicken that you've kept in your house, one day, one day, the baby soup. <laughs> that goat that you've tied behind one tree in your house, every day you pass by it, one, two, one, two, one, two, mm. one day, it will turn into... Into what? Into light soup. <laughs> If you disagree, of course, let your views be heard. I'll get into a few more of your messages and we'll conclude on that. This, do you disagree with that? I disagree because my best friend I've been friends with since I was 18, where nothing has ever happened between us. Kaiser, like, he's one of my best friends. Like, nothing. Nothing. I, I walk up and down in a bikini, underwear. Madam, madam, let me stop you. <laughs> let me stop you right there. No, my friends, my friends are so, like... I'm re- you know I'm very comfortable. I'm very comfortable. Like, <laughs> madam, <laughs> madam, madam, madam. That goes- maybe you can't be friends with a guy for too long. Oh, me, my, all my friends are female. Uh huh. Um, mostly, so you I don't do, like I guy do, male friends. I, I get along with a lot of of guys, but my good good pals, they're all women. It just uh-huh. so happens to be the case that I uh-huh. have more. But you know, I'm close to some of my male cousins. Okay. Uh, because the guy friends, you no, know, you be friends with them, and then eight years later, somebody will come and profess their love for you, and you're like, oh, Chalirana, you spoiled a whole show. How do I move on from there? And I had one experience like that. The friendship was never the same. The connection was never the same. Me, men and women, be friends for who? Oh. This- yeah, I can do it. We'll bring back this conversation. <laughs> I see a lot of you are 
are getting a little riled up by that. Well, this question that has just come through, I don't know how you guys want me to ask it. Ask but I'll it. find a way. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to ask it. A few more of your qu- uh, um, comments coming through. <laughs> It's funny. I want to laugh too. <laughs> I think you have some constructive criticism. Okay. Criti- critique. Because Crit- that word I can't say. Criticism. criticism. Cri- say it again. Criticism. Cri- say it slowly so we can learn. Criticism. Criticism. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. It's the one word I, I struggle with. The S and the, the, M, and the M. M. No, yeah. S and for life. <laughs> Oh yeah! Don't worry. <laughs> let me riff it, let me riff it, let me riff it. me now. No, no. My friend, relax. Oh my goodness, and time flies. Can you believe we've been chatting for the better part of some two hours? Wow. Okay, but this one is some constructive critique. I'll give it to you really quickly okay. and then we'll get on to our, uh, some more some more questions. So, Ham Deza. Ham, I hope I've said that right. It's D-E-X-A-A. So, it's viewing her food on Snapchat. She's doing her best. But they say sometimes you talk without pausing. <laughs> but he see, put it this way. He says sometimes you, t- you talk without break. <laughs> if you... <laughs> That was the first thing. Also, they, they, they love you. They're watching you on Snap. You're doing your best. The food business is perfect. But you talk and you don't pause. Also, they want to know. They said that you have to apologize for saying that the youth don't... Uh, they said it's your fault for choosing unqualified waitresses. <laughs> hey, Ham. Ham says you talk without break. Mm-hmm. And that it's not fair that you say that uh, young people don't want I said to work. Some, I never said some. Oh, I said some. Maybe more. Ah, and a guilty conscience, Nico. No. Pardon? Pardon, man. Eh? Eh? They said I should talk. Uh, uh, pause and talk. Yes, they so said you work. I'm pausing and I'm talking. You're pausing and you're. Is that you talk fast? I talk I fast. I, I, I feel like it, I think it's the New Yorker thing. I don't know. I just talk really fast. And it's something I've been trying to train my. Even before I got here, I was talking to myself. I fear, talk calm. But I, it's. It's the excitement. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm like. I don't that. Mean, see. <laughs> I don't mind. It pays my bills. Period. Okay, so a few more of this and that, and then we'll wrap it up. Time check. It's only some seven minutes until we have to bid you wow. farewell. And time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. Okay, so this or that. Would you rather be in a stable commitment, or are you one for a fleeting but passionate love affair? No, a stable commitment. A stable commitment. Yeah. Even if it's devoid of that sort of, you know, heated passion. That's that... what makes it. That's what makes it amazing. But it doesn't have that heated passion. Let's say it's a stable. You're oh, it's devoid of it. It's, it's devoid of that kind of, you know, you know what these sometimes these short love affairs are no, like. No, I like sta- I like stability. I love stability. I want something stable, long lasting. Like, because every relationship I've ever got myself into, I was, I always thought of the future with the person. I always thought of, you know how things would be 10 years from now and growing together. I've always been the type of person that wants to grow with my partner. So it's stable, yeah. stable, stable for mm, me. Mm. If it's stable, it's consistent. consistent. That's for you. Yeah. Okay, now this question that I was wanting to ask, you know, the, the ladies um, don't want to be left out. They want to know, do they stand a chance? I'm sorry? The ladies? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, let's bubble. That's what they call it. They want to know. Oh, I, I, I'm strictly dickly. And both 12 employees are giving me. You oh, it's be strictly sticky. <laughs> okay, so if there the are. The ladies any, don't stand a chance. The ladies no. don't stand a chance. Ah! <gasps> and finally, because we're gearing up to elections um, just in December. Mm-hmm. What do you make of. <laughs> What do you make of all of the political noise that is currently ongoing? So you have Team Mahama, Team Baumia, hmm. and also the third force. From where you sit, whose policies, ideas, disposition, energy, verve is catching your attention? They will know when I vote. 
But we will see. The vote is secret. Then. Or you you let us know after, after. the fact. Mm. But will you be voting this of year? Of course I'll be voting. And you encourage everybody to go you out and You have to vote. Because if you don't vote, somebody else will vote. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when people say, oh, I won't vote, I won't vote. Okay, you won't vote, but other people are going to vote. Yeah. So every vote counts. So I encourage everyone to vote. To get this idea of not wanting to vote. Because, Charlie, you are these people are the ones you're putting into power. That's right. So And it's very important to, to choose a person you feel is eligible or the best candidate you know, that you want to see in power. So it's important to vote. Mm. I used to be the kind of people that, oh, I me, mean, I won't vote, I won't vote. Mm. But... I realized it was a very stupid ideology that I had, yeah. you know, not wanting to vote. So please, guys, vote. 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 Even if it's for my pay, what's that woman's name? Ekuyadonko. <laughs> Ekuyadonko <laughs> says we should, we should vote even if... Ekuyadonko said one journalist, one car, one I car. believe. Yes, hey. one car. Um, but this year, I don't think she's made an appearance. <laughs> Okay, Fyodor, because we know that you are now getting into your music era, your singing era, your rapping era, I think we can close out this very special edition of Three Lounge with uh, a little freestyle from Ifia. And we'll sign out also with Lyrical Joe and Ifia. Should I put this on? So, okay. yeah, put that on so you can hear us and feel free to uh, get the mic, uh, the wire a bit close so you can get comfortable. Okay, we'll give you, what sort of beat do we want? Wait, I thought you were playing. I thought you were playing my um, my song with Lyrical Joe. Okay, so you want to to wrap over? Hey, I better do freestyle. I want to make a mini master of a hand, Mister. All right, so.